We are sure living in such exciting days and we don't need to fear or be afraid of the future for God is still on his throne and the earth is his footstool and he will be greatly glorified in the sunrise today. It's Bill and Rosalie Furler from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. So glad that you could join us. And we know this seed of a passion for truth is taking root and growing and trusting it will overwhelm our lives and we will blossom into maturity for the glory of God. Yes, God desires truth in our inward parts. The road to maturity is a new way of living. So let your light shine before all men in a darkened world. Our Heavenly Father has no greater joy than to see His children walking in the truth. And we love it when we see our own children walking in the truth. The Apostle John was a great example of one that walked in the truth. So let's go to more of his teachings in 1 John chapter 2. My dear children, I am writing this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate who pleads our case before the Father. He is Jesus Christ, the only one who is truly righteous. He himself is a sacrifice that atones for our sins, and not only our sins, but for the whole world's sins. And we can be sure that we know him if we obey his commandments. If someone claims, I know God, but doesn't obey his commandments, that person is a liar and not living in the truth. But those who obey God's word truly show how completely they love him. That's how we know we are living in him. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. There's a couple of solemn warnings that the Apostle John gives I believe they fit the days that we are living in. From verse 15, Do not love this world, nor the things it offers you. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but they are from the world. And this world is fading away, but those that do the will of the Father, they live forever. We urge you today to continue in truth. Have a passion for truth. Walk with God. Have a fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ, that your joy might be full. Praise God, hey, think about it, it's exciting. We're in days that are exciting. Dear children, the last hour is here. You have heard that Antichrist is coming and already many such Antichrists have appeared. From this we know that the last hour has come. But thank God he has baptized us in the power of his Holy Spirit and we can know the truth and we can walk softly with the Holy Spirit and he teaches us things to come and we can know the difference between a lie and the truth of God's Word. Jesus said in John chapter 14 verse 15 if you love me obey my commandments and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads you into all truth. I thank God for the blessed Holy Spirit who comes into our heart. He will never leave us, nor will he forsake us. Listen to what Jesus said in chapter 15. I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. 
remain in my love. When you obey my commandments, you remain in my love, just as I obeyed my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I've told you these things, so you'll be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. This is my commandment. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. Yes, we can know we're walking in the truth when we have love one for another. Thanks again for sharing with your friends and being a part of Church on the Beach. And God bless you. Have a passion for truth.